Hey everybody, today we are embarking on a journey more mysterious than trying to find out who actually built the pyramids. Because let's be honest here, it wasn't just manpower and sleds, okay? Now we're talking about artifacts that are so elusive, they make your missing sock from the laundry look like child's play. And we all know how elusive those socks can be. So here are the five ancient artifacts that mysteriously disappeared. Number one, the Ark of the Covenant. I mean, you probably have a better chance of finding Waldo than locating this legendary item. So what's the big deal about it? Well, the Ark of the Covenant is believed to be a golden chest containing the stone tablets of the Ten Commandments, a pot of manna, and Aaron's rod. According to biblical texts, it was built by Moses and was housed in the Temple of Solomon in Jerusalem for centuries. However, the Ark has been MIA since around 587 BC when the Babylonians invaded Jerusalem and laid waste to the temple. So where did it go? Well, that's the million dollar question, or should I say, the million gold coin question. And there are more theories about his whereabouts than there are dodgy diet ads on the internet. Some say it was smuggled out of the temple before the invasion and hidden. There are whispers that it resides in a church in Ethiopia, guarded by a single monk who, interestingly, never leaves the church. Others speculate that it's hidden somewhere in the catacombs of the Vatican City. Because, well, who doesn't love a good Dan Brown subplot? My guess? Two words. We're House 13. Then there's the wild idea that the Ark didn't just disappear, but was in fact destroyed. Because come on, something that divine can't just go poof like a magician's rabbit, right? Regardless, the Ark has inspired countless quests, a myriad of books, and even served as the plot for a Hollywood blockbuster. Though, let's just say that the cinematic version involves more face melting than most credible historians are comfortable with. I'm guessing. Number two, the Amber Room. This is a real gem of a mystery, and I didn't just mean that as a pun. It's a room that would make Midas green with envy made up entirely of amber panels backed with gold leaf and mirrors. Created in the 18th century in Persia, this opulent chamber was considered the eighth wonder of the world. No kidding, it was so grand that even selfies in that room would have been considered pieces of art. The amber room was a gift to Peter the Great of Russia from Prussia and was installed in the Catherine Palace of Sasquatchello near St. Petersburg. It's a room so lavish, even the Russian winters would feel warm in it. Well, metaphorically speaking, of course. But here's where things get twisty. During World War II, the room was looted by Nazi Germany. It was disassembled and moved to Königsberg Castle in what is now Kaliningrad, Russia. After that, it vanished into thin air. And despite extensive searches and multiple conspiracy theories, the Ember Room is still AWOL. So where could it be? Some say the panels were destroyed during bombings. But many historians find this hard to believe, because Amber doesn't just disintegrate, it's a survivor. Like that lone french fry that avoids getting eaten because it's hidden under the burger. There's another theory that suggests it was loaded onto a ship which was then torpedoed. But here's the thing, even if you knew where it was, take caution because there is the folklore that anyone who comes close to finding the Amber Room will be cursed. According to legend, the Amber Room is cursed to bring misfortune or death upon those who try to locate it. Now, this isn't your standard run-of-the-mill, step-on-a-crack, break-your-mother's-back kind of curse. We're talking about the big leagues here. Several people who have been involved in the search for the Amber Room have met unfortunate ends or have faced various miseries. Take, for example, Alfred Rode, who was one of the last to see the room in Conisberg Castle. He was trying to investigate his whereabouts, but died under mysterious circumstances. Another instance is of General Gusev, a Russian intelligence officer, who died in a car crash after he allegedly discovered some new information about the room. Of course, those could all just be coincidences, right? But then again, isn't that what they always say before things go wrong in a horror movie? Number three, the Sumerian King List. The Sumerian King list is basically the ancient world's answer to a VIP guest list, but instead of a club, it's the lineage of kings who've ruled over Sumeria. Written in cuneiform on clay tablets, this document lists kings from various Sumerian cities along with their reign durations. What makes it mind-bogglingly interesting and more than a little mysterious is that some of these kings are said to have reigned for thousands of years. Now, I don't care how good your skincare routine is, that, that's a long time by anyone's standards. 
No one has been able to fully decipher what's fact or fiction in the Sumerian king list, and like a good ancient cryptic document, the list has its share of vanishings. While some fragments have been found, it's believed that the full list might contain even more jaw-dropping information, but many parts remain lost or undiscovered. So was the list a comprehensive historical document? Or was it meant to legitimize the rule of certain dynasties by connecting them to long-lived figures? Either way, this list remains a peculiar testament to Samaria's complex view of history and leadership. Number 4. Peking Man The Peking Man was also known as Homo erectus pekinensis. Now, this isn't some elusive superhero or an ancient Chinese sage. Nope, we're talking about a collection of fossil specimens of an early human species that scientists got really excited about. They were discovered in the 1920s near Beijing, China, which for geography enthusiasts was called Peking back in the day. This find had scientists jumping for joy because it represented one of the most complete examples of Homo erectus, a critical link in human evolution. The Peking Man was quite the VIP in the archaeological world, offering invaluable insight into early human history. These fossils gave scientists a peek into how our ancestors lived about half a million years ago, from tools used to fire mastery. Peking Man was essentially the prehistoric MacGyver. But here's where it gets spicy. The fossils mysteriously disappeared during World War II in a plot twist worthy of a Hollywood thriller. They vanished while supposedly en route to the US for safekeeping. There were many theories. Were they lost at sea, stolen by soldiers, buried in an unmarked location? I mean, for all we know, they could be the ultimate collector's item at an extremely exclusive invite-only underground fossil club. Just kidding, those don't exist. Or do they? The vanishing act of the Peking Man has fascinated and frustrated scientists for decades. Although we don't know where they are, but the Peking Man's absence continues to be a gaping hole in the field of paleoanthropology. Finally, number 5. The Florentine Diamond This was a gem that's equally as famous for its brilliance as it is for dramatic disappearance. Picture this, a 137 carat light yellow diamond that was not just any bling, but a stone with a lineage worthy of a soap opera. It started its glittering career in, of course, India, made its way to the Habsburg family, and was even owned by the Medici family of Florence, hence the name Florentine. Now, this wasn't the kind of diamond you just casually wear to a dinner party, unless you're really into flaunting royal jewels while munching on hors d'oeuvres. No, this gemstone was serious business, even said to be cursed because bad luck seemed to follow many of its owners. The Habsburgs lost their empire. The Medicis faced numerous calamities, and don't even get me started on its later owners. The Florentine diamond vanished in the early 20th century. It was supposedly being transported to Switzerland during World War I for safekeeping because, let's face it, safeguarding a cursed diamond seems like a sensible priority amidst a global conflict, right? Anyhow, it never reached its destination. So where did it go? Was it stolen by a master thief with affinity for cursed jewels? Some say the diamond was recut into smaller, unrecognizable stones and is still out there. The theories are endless, and the diamond remains a wall. So there you have it folks, a whirlwind tour of some of history's most enigmatic artifacts that have mysteriously vanished from the face of the planet. From the divine allure of the Ark of the Covenant, to the radiant mystery of the Florentine Diamond, each of these artifacts hold a tale worth more than the material it's made from. A story of civilizations, of human ingenuity, and yes, of human greed. Whether these items are locked away in some secret chamber, lying in an unexplored ocean trench, or hidden in plain sight. Their legends live on. So next time you walk past a dusty antique shop or hear about a new archaeological discovery, remember, the world is full of untold mysteries waiting for the next chapter in their stories to be written. So until then, keep that sense of wonder alive and never stop searching for the hidden treasures that make our world so incredibly fascinating. So until next time, stay curious everybody.